Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today's video topic is blowdown procedure of boiler. It can be via the bottom blowdown or it can be scum blowdown. Both are having the same procedure but the condition of blowdown is different. For the bottom blowdown, if impurities are present inside the boiler, impurities like sulfates, silica, calcium or magnesium, then they can lead the boiler to scaling, corrosion and erosion. That's why we need to blow them off from the boiler. Okay. For the scum blowdown, if any particles that are floating in the, on the top of the water, of the boiler water or oil is floating on the top of the uh, water inside the boiler, then at that time we need to scum blowdown. So the procedure is same for both the bottom blowdown or scum blowdown. So let's see these are the five valves. First is ship side valve. This is scum blowdown valve and it is present on the water level of the boiler and the bottom blowdown these valves are present on the bottom of the boiler. So there are two two valves provided for each of the scum blowdown and for bottom blowdown. Why two two valves are provided that I will tell you now. So when we start the procedure, first we will off the uh, all the supplies which are going to like steam supply which are going for purifier for the uh, HFO tanks. First we will close all the supplies because steam is not supplying because we are blowing down or bottom doing blow, bottom blowdown or scum blowdown. That's why we will first off these supplies. Then our first step will start. Our first step is we will close the overboard valve. Our, uh, we will open the overboard valve. We will open the overboard valve. Then we are ready for the blowdown. Let's take an example of bottom blowdown. In bottom blowdown, what we will do? First, we will open the second valve. This valve we will open and it is a type of non-return valve. So we will open it fully in the first attempt. It, we will open it fully. The high pressurized water will come of high temperature and this third wall we will open it by crack we will control the amount of water that we want to go overboard because when we are controlling the water it is damaging because it is pressurized water so it is damaging the seal of the wall this is our primary wall we don't want this wall to get damaged that's why we are opening it this wall fully and we are opening this wall as close as crack opening and controlling the flow from this wall because if this wall get damaged then we have another wall and till we are using this wall we can repair this wall okay so that's why two walls are provided and both are in the line that's why we can take the we can keep this wall as safe this is the safety process that's why two walls are provided then we will uh, crack opening this and uh, because after some time all the water will uh, flash off and all will go to the sea from the overboard valve. This is a simple procedure for the blowdown process of boiler. Then first we will uh, close this hole then we will close this hole in the opposite order and after closing both the holes then we will close the ship side wall or overboard wall. This is a very simple and short procedure for the blowdown of the boiler and same procedure we will follow for the scum also. So please if you like the video press the like button and share the video and if you have any query or any suggestion for the next video please comment in the comment section and we will meet in the next video till then bye